and welcome back to a brand new vlog. I missed you guys so much and thank you for all the love you guys have been giving to my channel. Now you know what I miss? I miss the daily vlogging but I've gone back to dental full time as much as I miss that but I miss you guys but I'm gonna still keep up the three days a week so make sure you guys watch out for that. Okay. So in today's video, I'm actually gonna do my famous baked chicken recipe because my girls have been telling me I've been using way too much olive oil. Okay, girls, here we go. We're gonna do baked chicken, side of salad with Roma tomatoes. And I love these little Roma, like what are they called? Roma lettuce? Gems. Oh, these are called little gems. So I love these little lettai with the little Roma tomatoes. And we have two baby little avocados. Yes, darling. I don't know why it was going to an accent on my cooking channel. Here we have two thawed chicken breasts. Um, I should have four, but that's all I have in my fridge. And remember you guys, the most important part of this recipe is to brine it, brine it, brine it. Do not skip that step. Why are you laughing, Nick? <laughs> what does brining mean? Brining, I will show you what it means. I didn't know this until I figured out from my famous recipe till a little while ago. So basically, you're, I'm gonna put this is like boiled water, but you're gonna add some. You want it to be lukewarm. You don't want it to be like boiling hot. You're gonna add your chicken. Cause this is, you know what this is gonna do, brining? Ooh, it's like lukewarm water, perfect. This is gonna make your chicken really, really, really juicy. Do not skip this step. Do not. I was gonna use my hands, but I figured I'll use the thong. Then that way my hands are still clean. So you put your chicken breasts, Oh, you were supposed to put the salt first, but it's fine. You put a good spoonful of um, salt. A little bit of salt. A little bit a, of no, salt. No, a lot of bit of salt. A lot of salt, a lot of olive oil. No, a lot of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a bucket of olive oil. Who is that, Nick? I don't know. Who is texting us? Tell us. Don't they know what's a quiet set? This is a quiet set, ladies <gasps> and gentlemen. It's me. Okay, so basically, you guys, this is so simple, and it just takes 15 minutes. So basically, you put your chicken breasts and make sure they have to be thawed out. You put them in there in lukewarm water with a bunch of salt, 15 minutes, that's it. Then afterwards, I'll show you what you guys are gonna do. In the meantime, while this is brining for 15 minutes, let's set our timer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, you guys, so this, I'm addicted to these little lettuce. They're called Little Baby Gems. I got mine at Bristol Farms and they are just yum, yum, yum. It's just a whole different way of eating salad. When you eat salad on a daily like I do, <gasps> I'm gonna cut out the bathroom. <gasps> it got totally destroyed. Okay, you have to try different kinds of lettuce. Why not? By the way, I love healthy living and I think I'm gonna eat even more salads going forward. By the way, you guys, <laughs> I did a full day of dental and it's Memorial Day today, so. Excuse me if I'm a bit tired, darling. Thank you for servicing our country. Oh, really? Do you mean that? Is that what you do? Like, do we say that to... Yeah, we say that to healthcare workers. I guess I guess so. you don't service our country. I don't service the country. Well, I mean, we're part of the country, so yeah, you service but us. But I had a week off, and afterwards, I've been dealing with patients and emergencies ever since. Nick, look at this. These are both baby avocados. I got them from the same place. Look at that seed versus that. Why are they so different? Okay, we need to take this time, ladies and gentlemen, to do a boomerang. Oh, and I was going to give you guys an update on life. Oh, ooh, here we go. All right, hold on, everybody. In the middle of cooking, we are going to do our lovely boomerang. I got like a million texts. Oh. I just did a cute boomerang, and now I'm going to do a TikTok. Let's do it. Are we ready? Wait, wait, does my hair look cute? Um, gorgeous. Three. But does it look ornate, Nick? Um, beautiful. Oh, lovely. Three, two, one. Got it. Okay, beautiful. All right. The next one should be of us dicing. All right, you guys, so the 15 minutes on that. This salad is so easy, you guys. Oh, should I use the new salad spinner the girls got me? Yeah. Oh, where is it? By the way, you guys, update on my girls. Nicolette has graduated. High school, we had our high school graduation at home. We had friends on FaceTime. It was truly a remarkable occasion. I cried, I gave a speech, we all gave speeches. And if you haven't watched the video, I'm gonna leave the link down below. So make sure you go and watch it. No, seriously, where's the sandal spinner? It's not up here, I thought I saw it up here. Really? Oh, there's back of Doritos back there. While I look for the salad spinner that my beautiful girls got me for mommy's day, which I can't find for the life of me anywhere, and this kitchen is not that big. Oh, here it is. I was complaining for like five minutes until I find it. 
But you guys, seriously, I'm so proud of Nicolette. Nicolette, if you're watching this, I'm so proud of you. You look so beautiful in your cap and gown. You gave a beautiful speech and you really created such a beautiful atmosphere. I never thought with all you mamas out there and all you mamas with the graduates this year, happy 2020 graduation, all you young mamas, young dads, with little babies, enjoy little kids because they grow up faster than you could imagine. I never, ever, ever thought, like I just thought Nicolette would stay a little toddler forever. Look at this. Let's go to TikTok. Oh yeah. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Perfect. You guys, this is so nice. Oh my God, I wanna boomerang this. I want the girls to see that I'm using my stuff. Ooh. Okay, ready? Behind the scenes of Nina boomeranging. <laughs> is that too fast? Oh, cute. They'd I be so confused. They'd be so confused. Like, what is she doing? Okay, how about this? Ah! <laughs> I thought the salad would spin everywhere. What did we do? Okay, let's do one more time. I wasn't even pushing the boomerang button. The boomerang queen is... I've just lost my touch. Ooh. Ooh, the best I can get. That's weird. No, that's cute. You can't tell what it is. It's okay. Oh, you know what? Let's put thank you at Nicolette Blair and Gray for my salad spinner. I've been taking Nick on these walks around my house and I really think... Tell him about the walks, Nick. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm quitting. <laughs> I made him go for a walk for health reasons, nutrition, <laughs> all right? Quarantine okay. is supposed to be regarding relaxing. Can you finish this while I cook? Of course. Thank you at Blair Gray and at Nicolette Gray. Whatever font you want to use, something cute. And for my salad spinner. How about something like that? All right, you guys, so we have successfully spinned our lettuce. Look at how gorgeous that looks. Beautiful and ornate and just simply loving. I love the salad spinner. The girls were right. It looks divine, though. We still have how many minutes? Oh, three minutes for the brownie. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to put some chopped avocados, darling. Little baby gems. Little baby avocados. Little baby. Oh, and you guys update on Nicolette and then we'll move on to Blair. She got a little kitty cat named Beverly. Again, she was shockingly and surprisingly introduced in her last video when she graduated from home. So make sure you guys all go check in my link down below. It's a really good video. And for all of you who are graduating from I home. I can't walk, I'm sorry. I can't walk anywhere. There's Nick, stuff all over the floor. Okay, this is because of the kids. No, and this I has know. nothing to do with You me. guys, everyone, look it. It's a, like a demolition zone, as if like we're reconstructing the whole house. We're not reconstructing Everywhere anything. you go. When the girls are here, it just it goes crazy. My feet have the tunic. <laughs> How is it not bothering you? Look, it is bothering me. What else can I do? Complain on the video. <laughs> I'm used to this. So as we were talking, Nicolette has a new kitty cat named Beverly. And I'm kind of glad she got a cat. You know, it's it's been hard. I mean, she's 18 and living on her own in that big townhouse. So I'm glad she got a companion. Oh, we're adding Roma tomatoes, ladies and gents. Um, and cats are a lot easier to take care of than dogs. So. It's just I'm really happy for her, and I really love Beverly. She's a sweetie, and she meowed in the whole graduation video. Now that's the tea on Nicolette. Moving on to Blair, my young 13-year-old has gotten so tall and such a big girl, and growing up and kind of becoming a little bit more adventurous lately with life, even though she haven't left the house for like three months. But other than that, you know, um, I'm just really proud of both of them. I'm proud of Nicolette. I can't wait till I see. Uh, Blair graduate and Nicolette and I cheering her on. It's just going to be just beautiful. I can't, uh, all you moms and dads know out there, there's certain accomplishments like that is just, you know, you know they're going to come, but when they do, you're just not quite ready for it because you're just so proud and you start crying and that's what I did. So, and then Blair is also, what's Blair up to these days? What's her tea, Nick? Blair. We asked her if she had a boyfriend. Oh, you did ask her that. She said no. She doesn't like when you ask her that, by the way. No, she doesn't like it. But I'm her mom, so I'm going to badger. Right, mothers? Well, right, she, fathers? she was badgering you about your boyfriend. Oh, she she was, was spilling all the tea. She wants to go to Palm Springs. Oh, she was? When? 
when she was like, we need to go to Palm Springs. <gasps> oh, yes. Look at this gorgeous salad. Please, everybody, we must boomerang. Oh, Nick, TikTok. Oh, TikTok. TikTok and boomerang. If I don't remember, you remember. Okay, darling. All right, you ready? You're gonna mix. Oh, let me get my good, let me get my good Insta before I mix. Oh my God, the brining is out. The Hold on. Oh no. Oh no, no, not now. Do you think that's a cute boomerang? Oh God, the color's wrong. The color's wrong. I have to go to Paris. I use Paris all the time. How about that? Okay. Or is that too fast? Should we mix this? TikTok. TikTok. Three, two, one. Okay, what we're gonna add to this salad, you guys, for dressing is fresh lemon juice and olive oil or avocado oil. Okay, now we brine, so we're gonna drain the water. I'll be right back with you guys. Give me one second. The chicken finished brining. All you have to do is after that is rinse the chicken, pat it dry, and now we're gonna add a lot of salt. We're gonna add salt, salt, pepper, pepper. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, no, we'll do it right here, darling. Paprika always gives a good flavor and really good um, taste. I have two garlic powders out. Garlic powder, a little goes a long way, you guys. And now I can flip them over, and now that they've dried, you know what I should do? I should actually just put them in the pan. Here we go, guys. I can't touch that hand. That hand is chickeny. All right. By the way, you guys, I got these gorgeous pans at Target when all the other stores weren't open and I love them. So if you guys are looking for some like, I don't know, just, um, let me wash my hands again. Some affordable but really cute and bougie pans, go to Target.com. And please help us find our other two that are missing. Oh yeah, there's two of them that are missing. Two missing. Where did they go, Nick? Maybe down there. Where? Down here. No, I checked, go ahead and check. Are you sure? Yeah, we're doing garlic powder again, Nick. You're Salt, right. pepper, everything's missing more pepper, more paprika, beautiful. And then after you do, do this, you're gonna wanna coat it. Um, a lot of people say coat it with like butter. I just don't, not, nothing against butter. I just prefer to stay away from it. I'm gonna just coat the chicken with olive oil. That's it. Oh, I mean like avocado oil. And you're supposed to brush it, but we haven't bought a brush yet. <laughs> Where's Elmo? bring back Elmo to the rescue. <laughs> Elmo, brush avocado oil all over the chicken, please. Just brush, brush. Do you guys want Nina's aprons? A line of aprons and maybe some dental products? Call, leave comments down below. I've been dabbling in that, thinking maybe I should create like my own line of aprons, my own line of a few dental products for you guys. So leave comments down below and tell me what you would think. And be honest. Be Elmo honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you see how good that looks? And I've been reading about the debate of whether you cook your chicken slow for a long, like on low heat for a long time or fast, like on a high heat for a short time. I still haven't decided which one I like better. Leave comments down below. What do you think, Nick? Should we do 350 for 30 minutes or 450, 15? 450, 15. Oh, someone's hungry. <laughs> what do you say, Elmo? Oh, 350. No, we'll do, let's do fast today because I usually do slow, so let's see how that goes. And that's it, you guys. Just put that in the oven for 15, 15 minutes. Nina, what are you doing? The floor is filled with salt. From who? I think it's the girls. Are you sure? I'm not even sure. Because this, this is what you do. A little bit of salt, a little bit of salt. <laughs> Listen, mine goes on the plate. So now I have to walk around like this when my housekeeper comes tomorrow. Well, why don't you just like clean it yourself? No, I won't do that. And right now, I'm gonna sit down and eat some salad until the chicken is done because it's not going anywhere in my famous Italian oven. And there's a huge mess on this side too. And I just have to sit down for a moment and text some friends. Okay, I just want to show them the mess, but you can't see it on camera. Oh, you can see it. So, my videography them? skills are just stellar. Okay, listen, Mr. Seller, did you show them the mess here? I didn't know if we were embarrassed to show them that mess. No, we're not. Show them everything. You this guys. is what happens when your kids come to your house. A little salt, a little pepper. Just make sure you have full time housekeeper and full time nannies. And full time bank account. <laughs> Honey, trust me, I know that firsthand. So, you guys, I baked this for 15 minutes at 450, but I thought it wasn't done. So, I did another five minutes. Now, I think it looks done. Hold on, let me flip it. It actually smells really, really good. So, I think it's done. But the most important thing, other than brining, 
is to give it a little rest. So let it sit for like five, 10 minutes before you cut all the juices out of it. Whoa, look at that, Nick. Yummy. Are you sure it's cooked all the way? Yes. Well, let it rest a little bit. Okay, it must be tired like us. <laughs> I'm not that tired. Yes, you are. No, I mean like a little bit, but you know that walk really did me well. I came home from work, I'm like, Nick, we're going on a walk. Cause we were gonna film, cause I was like, I'm gonna cook dinner tonight, so let's film something. And then he's like, okay, but I'm like, first we have to go on a walk. I have to detox from work. Cause work was a lot. You know, dental has changed forever in my mind. Okay, we're gonna let this rest. They look really good and it smells really good. The salads here, I already ate a whole plate full cause I just couldn't wait. Oh, cause I'm starving. Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm just kidding. I know you guys are still here. Okay, I let the chicken rest 10 minutes. This smells so good. Yum. Nick, you have to try some. I'm so stuffed. But what did you eat today? Okay, do you want to know the tea? I want to know the tea. This so you know crazy. how I came to your house a little early? Because yeah. I had my appointment? I was wondering. We were wondering what? Why you were there early. Well, because I had my appointment and oh. I didn't want to go back home. Uh-huh. So I decided to go to In-N-Out. <gasps> no! <laughs> and I took you on a walk after In-N-Out? Yeah. No wonder you were dying. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think of that. You don't go for a walk after eating that kind of And video. I was wearing slacks and Converse. And Converse. Nick. So what I'm going to do, you guys, look how ornate this looks. Okay, so we are going to plate our chicken, our lovely baked chicken, and it's healthy, healthy, healthy. Look at that. Lovely, lovely. I should make this for the girls. I dressed the salad with olive oil and lemon juice, and I'm gonna squirt a little lime juice on top. And then we're gonna put a little lemon, right? <laughs> a little pepper, a little salt, a little pepper, and voila, it's my most famous, what did we make again? Baked chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's my most, I'm so tired. I'm keeping yet. that in. I've been up since like seven this morning. I went to dental, took the kind of walk nine. after in and out I can't even speak anymore. My most famous, Oh. Big chicken salad <laughs> recipe. I'm going to my most famous big chicken salad recipe. I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> you guys, we just took our thumbnail. Like, literally. <laughs> and he's like, why would there be a flower? Because there's always an ornate flower to my left. Or I, I must eat my food. I'm going to use a big fork. This is how we're going to do things. When you're so tired. And it's you probably eat. all you have. <laughs> no, I got extra forks recently. Oh my god, all this stuff. <laughs> there's like salt. And lemon. I have a feeling it was really you. It could have really been me. Actually, it's probably always been me, and I've just blamed my breaths. Ooh. Let's see if this is juicy. If the brining did anything. Nick. Nick. So juicy. I'm so, so, so healthy. Oh my god. The brining actually did something. I mean, I know it's my famous recipe, but I sometimes it. You're, you're so shocked. This is so good, you guys. Mm. Mm. I think I'm going to start using a big fork from now on. That's very ornate of you. I think I'm going to have flowers on it. Mm. So ornate. Please go try this recipe, you guys. It's really good and it's much healthier than grilling your chicken. Does that mean I'm going to stop using a bucket of olive oil and grill everything? Oh, no, 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 no. But. In summertime, let's eat healthier than we ever did before. Yum, yum, yum. With that said, and I would offer Nick a plate, but apparently someone went to in and out for, um, what did you get? Grilled cheese and fries. <laughs> Were they the animal fries? I didn't, I'm on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, make sure you guys comment down below if you want an apron series from Nina, and if you want dental stuff from Nina, and if you like this video, and let me know when you guys send me pictures, DM me pictures of when you make it. Make it look ornate. I'll repost it. I love you guys so much. And if you don't have your bell subscri subscription, oh, if you don't have your bell notifications on, make sure you turn them on. You don't want to ever miss a video. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And remember, keep cooking.